Right here. How's that? Yeah. Here, I found this. Uh, this, this is I'm a team player. Ah, there we go. I still need room though. You're gonna have to move over a little bit. I got another guy coming up later. Just there a tap isn't. room. Well, there always seems to be room. Yeah, but it's I don't want to be that guy, but because it's like when I go if I cut the live action, it'll like split.
I'm in those ads. Oh, yeah? You'll see him. <laughs> Everything's all right. Ah, ha, ha, You shared your first talk with Jordan. There it is. The early version. Hey, Sophie, can you still hear me? Each play, you want to zoom in on the guy that like did the action. Like you see a guy catch a pass or make a run or get a tackle or whatever. You want to zoom in as far as you can on that guy and make sure you were able to track him across the field.
friends, especially friends who were struggling even in those early years. And I, as I delved more into the profession, learning about it, it just became clear to me that this was an incredible opportunity to do something that was not only meaningful, but exciting and interesting and engaging in a multitude of ways. And, and truth be told, there really has not been a dull or boring day since I started this work. So I've been very happy with, with my career path. I, I believe that. I believe that. So that really lit your brain on fire since, yeah, since yeah. really young. Well, and truthfully, I had a wonderful teacher, a wonderful teacher. Mr. Vetter was his name. Okay. Mr. Gerald Vetter uh, in, at St. Mary's High School who taught psychology class, AP psychology. And it was you know his mentorship and his teaching style that really ignited that fire for me. So I, I go back and, and really have to give him some credit and thank him for, for being such a first week of the playoffs so big game here tonight and we'll have all the action for you here on KNDC Hedinger we do have both uh, interviews for you so what we're going to do right now we're going to take uh, a quick second and get ready for our first interview this evening we had a chance to talk with head coach Jason Lefebvre here's our interview from just a few minutes ago pregame show with head coach Jason Lefevre and coach uh, big game here tonight uh, I just talked with coach Zachman I'm going to interview him as well and we don't really have to talk about anything but you two and playoff implications still on the line because there's a two and a three seed wait, waiting for one of you guys right this is a game for home field advantage in the playoffs for the first round so winner take all for that first week and get a big advantage staying home and not going on a long road trip Sitting uh, tonight, obviously, Hedinger County coming in. Uh, what do you guys expect on them? Obviously, you've seen them on film. They, they had a 12-6 ball game against Beach. They've had their lopsided games, but they've all sent some big victories. Yeah, yeah I mean, he's quarterback. the same schedule, yeah. and you watch a lot of film on yeah. them. Uh, a lot of eyes, some trips, and some quads. So nothing we haven't seen before yet, but they're a very physical football team. Run hard, good quarterback in Manolovitz. They run a good flood pass. He's really tough to read at that play action. So lots to take care of tonight. We ask you every week, might as well do it one more time, injuries. Uh, I guess it's pretty good now. Yeah, we're uh, almost full strength. There's a few question marks hoping to get a couple guys back, or a guy back next week. So uh, it'd be nice to get him back and get him some football time. All right, well, good luck to you tonight, Coach. A big homecoming night. Keep the distractions away until after the game, right? Yeah, exactly. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you. All right, Head Coach Jason Lefebvre, the head of your Scranton Nighthawks. Going to take a break. Be back with Head Coach Nate Zachman when we come back. Uh, um, every year, it doesn't matter if uh, if a team is up 
and the other one's down. It's always a slobber knocker, but this one means something. This one, uh, do you want to travel all the way across the river, or do you want to stay at home for that first, for that first week of the playoffs? Yeah, it's fun. To, you know, I think at the end of the year when you're playing in the, you know, impactful games, meaningful games like this, it just makes it really exciting. And yeah, the, when you have, uh, you know, the ones that, you know, the ones you settled in here, we gotta settle and play this for the two and the three seed and that home for the advantage of the playoffs. Is, is can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous plight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets ran the bombs bursting in air came proof through the night that our plague was still there oh say does that star spangle Welcome back here as we get ready for football action here tonight. Other games going on tonight. Kilder is at New Salem. Uh, Beach is at Napoleon. Richard and Taylor at Grant County. Bowman County is at Hart River. Southern McLean is at Kildare. Excuse me, it was Kidder County at New Salem. Uh, it's a big game for Kidder County. Beulah is at Shiloh. Another big game there in 11B. Hazen is at Trinity. So there's not too many games that are big in the 9B. Uh, New Salem, obviously, in Grant County, they've already locked their seeds in at number one. In 11B, Hazen is at Trinity. Uh, Beulah Shiloh is probably the biggest game on tap in 11B. All right, let's run down your starting lineups. First off for the Hedinger County Huskies, they're going to go this way underneath head coach Nate Zachman. At quarterback tonight, six-foot senior, number four, Cole Manolovitz. And a running back, a junior, number 10, Matt Heather. And the other running back, a foot eleven sophomore, Rhett Miller. And the offensive line, a senior, number 25, Matthew Bach. Tight end tonight, senior, number 32, Lane Kovar. Also on the offensive line, a senior, number 36, Jack Manolovitz. At running back, a junior, number 48, Jaron Rafferty. Also on the line will be a junior, number 65, Josh Ernst. And your other tight end, sophomore, number 88, Brady Bach. Once again, head coach uh, Nate Zachman, assisted by Brian Manolovitz, Colton Domjanovic, and Andrew Birch. So there are your starting lineups for tonight for the Hedinger County Huskies. Now your lineups here for the Hedinger Scranton Nighthawks. They're going to go this way. Tristan Picas, fullback, senior, Hedinger Scranton. Tanner Defoe, wide receiver, cornerback, senior, Hedinger. Alex Martinez, tight end, free safety, senior, Hedinger. Jaron Frank, middle linebacker, junior, Hedinger. Bowden Hasbrook, tight end and defensive end, senior, heading your high school. Devin Greff, quarterback, defensive back, senior, heading her. Patrick Schultz, center, senior, heading your high school. Nick Anderson, defensive line, offensive line, junior, heading your high school. Braden Yonner, offensive lineman, defensive lineman, junior, heading your high school. 
Maddox Pierce, linebacker, running back, junior, Scranton. Team and Consolidated Channel 18 Live, we're back in 30 seconds. Welcome back here, getting ready for the kickoff here on KNDC Hedinger. HPS Stream Team and Consolidated Live Channel 18. We're on 1490 AM, 106.7 FM, also on our free app at KNDCRadio.com. Huskies are going to kick it away here tonight. So excuse me if I say wildfire a couple times tonight, but we're going to start off right away with the Huskies. Back deep received for the Night Ox will be Tanner Defoe and Maddox Pierce. On that uh, middle line, we'll have Martinez, Hasbrook. Up on the front line, we have Jaron Frank. Looks like Nick Anderson, Sam Wheeland, Tanner Blackwell, and Patrick Schultz. So they're ready for an onside kick here. Kicking it away will be Cole Manolovitz. The lefty, he's got it teed up like he's going to go onside. That ball is going to be loose football, and it'll be down by Hasbrook and right away. Nighthawk to get the football at the 39-yard line. And they had it teed up. You knew an onside kick was coming because the ball was sat sideways on the tee. Tried to get a crazy bounce, did get a crazy bounce out of it, but a nice job by Hasbrook to cover it up. So the Nighthawks will take over for the first time tonight on their own 39-yard line against the Hedinger Huskies. So here we go, first snap of the night. We're gonna go high formation. Hasbrook in at fullback. Maddox Pierce, your tailback. Defoe goes in motion left to right behind Greff. Handoff gonna to go to Pierce. It's gonna come across the line of scrimmage, gets smacked after about a two-yard gain on the first carry of the night for Maddox Pierce. Pierce has been injured a majority of the season with that hamstring injury during the Central McLean game. Sat out some important games. Uh, has come back here, played a little bit uh, before last week and played the whole game last week and ended up with a top performer over in Beach. And we do have our top performer t-shirts and Encompass Therapy Sports Towel to give out tonight as well. That's at the conclusion of the ball game. Second down and eight. I formation behind Griff. Pitch gonna go to Pierce again, cuts it up across the 40. Cuts up at the 47, and it looks like they're going to mark him right at the 47-yard line. So it looks like a gain of about five. Brings up a third down and two now, so big play here offensively. Checking in the new play calls. Hayden Defoe will go in and out with Tanner Defoe and Caden Anderson. He has both wide receivers standing next to him. Defense has been playing well here the last few weeks. Same with the Huskies. They came off a 12-6 win over Beach a couple weeks ago. Had a rough one last week, but ready to square off for the two and three seeds here tonight. Handoff going to go to Pierce. He's going to hit the line. He's going to kick it out. He will have first down yardage across the 50, down to the 49-yard line. It's about a five-yard gain and a first down for the Nighthawks. Be the first first down of the night. We'll move the chains. Last week, uh, obviously this week, uh, Nidox had to work on penalties. The uh, penalties well over 100 yards in penalty yards. Last week in Beach. So bring up a first down here. I'm not sure what the holdup was. 
All right, now the official's ready, and we are ready to go. First down and 10. Maddox have the football at the 48-yard line of the Huskies. Once again, picking up their first first down and starting on their own 39-yard line. Maddox will send Tanner Defoe out wide to the left. I formation. Once again, they're going to slowly work in Tristan Picas here tonight. That is the plan. Handoff going to go to Hasbrook. He gets buried inside the line of scrimmage after a gain of about two. Brings up a second down and eight. Short game for the Nighthawks. Game about two. Second and eight. So Huskies and Nighthawks here. This is the battle for the two seed. The winner will have a home game in a couple weeks in the playoffs. The non-winner will head over, I believe, to South Border if South Border hangs on to that two-seat over there. A tough task, but Nadox played South Border tough with a couple men down. Second down and eight. I formation behind Greff. Fakes it left, hands it right. Maddox Pierce going to kick it to the outside. Has room to run up to the outside of the 40. Cuts it across down to the 37-yard line. That should be enough for a first down. Are they going to mark him shy? They're going to mark him shy of that first down. It's like a gain of seven. So that brings up a third down and one. As we said, a lot of games going on tonight. We'll try to get you scoring updates throughout the evening. Grant County Flasher is home against Richardson Taylor Hebron tonight. Number five, North Prairie, is uh, on the road to New Rockford Cheyenne. A little quarterback keeper going to be, should be enough for a first down it is. That'll do it for another Nighthawks. First down. Two-yard run brings up another Nighthawk first down. That'll be the second of the evening. Some of the ranked teams that are playing tonight, South Border is in Underwood against Central McLean tonight. Number two, New Salem is home against Kidder County. And number four, Mayport CG, who almost and should have knocked off Kindred last week. Uh, they are at home against Enderlin. First down and 10. Inside trap, going to go to Martinez. He gets tripped up behind the line of scrimmage. And there's that dreaded trap play that's gone for three touchdowns this year. But Martinez is going to lose three on the play. And that thing was opening up on this left side. So now they'll mark it straight in the middle of the field here. Second down and 13. You mentioned a lot of 11B games going on as well. That big one. Beulah is at Shiloh tonight. That is a 7 o'clock Central time start, so we'll have scoring updates for you on that one as well. So second down and 13. Hayden to foe the wide out to the right. Two tight ends set, going to pitch it left side. Pierce going to try to work his way up, and then there's a flag in the play. Doesn't He does get back to the line of scrimmage. Flag coming in from the side official. It's going to be a block in the back. on the Nighthawks. So which was a second down and 13. Going to replay it. Is it from the spot of the foul here. That'll be the first penalty of the night. And once again, as we said last week, Nighthawks over 100 yards in the penalty area. Not what the Nighthawks want. So the market back at midfield need to get down to the 27-yard line for a first down. So big play here for the Nighthawks offensively. At least get some of this yardage back, get down to a manageable third down. We haven't seen uh, Greff throw the football yet tonight. We'll see what the tight ends are going to do here. Martinez, your sure-handed catcher. Oh, they have oh, he had Mace, or uh, Tanner Defoe. They're going to throw it up for grabs. And it is, oh, it's taken away from the receiver. Defoe had it, and it was picked off. Intercepted by, County. Intercepted by Matt over. Heather. First and ten. So your first pass play will be intercepted by the Huskies on a second down and about 23. And he had Tanner to full wide open, but he just had no protection there, had to hurry it. And we'll give the football to the Huskies for the first time here tonight in a 0-0 ball game, starting at their own 37-yard line. I formation now behind Manolovitz. 
He's going to rush cross left side. He'll be taken down. Cross is Miller. Miller will get a gain of about two. Brings up a second down and eight. Host of Nighthawks in there. Yonner and I believe Hasbrook was in on that tackle as well. Nice thing this defensive line does a nice job. You have Anderson up on that defensive line. Wheeland, Yonner, and Hasbrook. So we'll go back to I formation for Coleman Olivitz. And Olivitz crouches way down in that stance. Nidoc showing blitz. They're going to bring it. And oh, he escapes a tackle, but he'll be taken down in the backfield again as Miller taken down by Maddox Pierce for no gain. So that'll bring up a third down. Now they say they're going to give him a yard, so they'll bring up a third down and seven. <laughs> just at the 40 yard line as we're at the 642 mark here in this first quarter no score in this one Nidox threw an interception to end their drive Huskies running their third offensive play here in the quarter at the 628 mark Frank looking to show blitz backs out back to pass Manolovitz looking has a man oh a little interference before the yeah. up Defoe got there early, but there's also a flag in the backfield as well. We'll see what the two pen. One's going to be a pass interference here on Defoe, but what did we get in the backfield was possibly a hold. So they'll be offsetting penalties. Unless the Nighthawk somehow pick up both penalty markers. And with the discussion, I would think they're both on the Nighthawks. Because if it was one on either team, we'd just turn it over and uh, we'd replay the down. So we'll see what the... Uh, Defoe just got there a little bit early on that pass for that pass interference. And right now, sitting at a third down and seven at the 40. Here comes the call from the official. We have a holding on the Nighthawks. And then a pass interference on the Nighthawks. So both penalties on the Nighthawks here tonight. Defense hold is declined. Pass interference is the call. So the second 10-yard penalty here. First and 10. Trying to figure out who the hold was on is because you're going for the quarterback. I don't know how that gets called holding, but a first down and 10. First first down of the night for the Huskies. Shotgun formation is Manolovitz back to pass. Looking left, airing it out, has a man wide open. He overthrows him. Overthrew the intended receiver, Teddy Kirschman, who was wide open up the seam here for an incomplete pass. So Manolovitz throwing his first pass here tonight will be incomplete. Brings up a second down and 10 in Nighthawk territory right around the 40 Right on the 45-yard line. I'll go back shotgun once again. Single setback here for the Huskies. Manolovitz, hard snap count. High snap, and he gets taken down right away. I don't know how in the heck Sam Whelan got in there, but nobody blocked hey, Whelan. A loss of four on the play for Manolovitz. And he was shot out of a cannon. And nobody touches Whelan, so that brings up third down and about 14 yards, just shy of the 50-yard line. New Salem leads early 6-0 in New Salem versus Kidder County here tonight, halfway through the first quarter. We're at the 5.33 mark, no score, and a timeout for the Hedinger Huskies. We'll take a break as well on KNDC Hedinger. Consolidated and stream team. We'll take a break. Be Backyard back. Mechanics, they take care of you like family because they live here right in your neighborhood. Fixing cars is what they do, but keeping you on the road and keeping your family safe is what they care about. No matter what you drive, Backyard Mechanics will provide the security your family needs to keep you protected on the road. To learn more about what Backyard Mechanics can do for you, call Kenny at 701-567-2979. I trust them, and I think you should too. 
Since day one of starting our business, Consolidated has been there and has been a reliable partner of ours. At Consolidated, we're constantly striving to bring more value to our business customers. Together, our high-performance servers and computers, network equipment and cloud services optimize business operations. Call 483-4000 today and let us customize a plan for you. Consolidated Business Solutions, let us succeed. All right, third down and 14 coming up here for the Huskies. Could be four down territory. We'll see if uh, Zachman plays the Coach Zachman the field position game. Let's see if they can pick up some yardage here, make it a manageable fourth down. So we'll go shotgun once again for Manolovitz. He's got the option to keep it himself. He has room to run across the 40, down to 30, to the 20, to the 10. Taken out of bounds. They're going to mark him out. At about the 17-yard line, a 35-yard run for Manolovitz and a first down and a backbreaker for that Nighthawk defense. As, man, they were stuffing the run, the pass, and they went with the option. Defensive end went with the running back, and there was nobody there for that quarterback. Manolovitz made him pay for it, making a 35-yard run. We'll come back under center now. Is Manolovitz handoff. Going to go left side Miller. He'll kick it to the outside of the 10. Down inside of the first down marker out of bounds at about the five yard line. Looks like another first down here for the Nighthawks. No flags on the, or for the Huskies. Going to mark it about a 13 yard run for Miller. So Rhett Miller picking up the third first down of the night. So first and goal coming up. As we'll go I formation, once again, Manolovitz gets up under center. One man in the slot is Heather. Miller at the tailback. Hands it off, hands it off right side. Ooh, gets taken down right at the three. Taken down by Hasbrook after a gain of about Two, it looks like. So brings up second down. So second down and three. Or second down and goal, I should say, from the three-yard line. Huskies moving the football here this first trip with that big run. They started on their own 37-yard line. We'll go back eye formation. Manolovitz. Barking it out. Hands it off. Miller. Breaks down to the two yard line, picks up another yard, and brings up third down and two now. So third and goal from the two. Well, Nighthawk defense has to, they can bend, but they don't want to break here in this first trip down inside the red zone for the Huskies. Sticking with the same formation here. They've given it to Miller the last three plays. With that first down run and then two one-yarders. And now another timeout. Another timeout. Huskies say, you know what? Let's talk about this. We need a score. So let's take a 30-second timeout on Candy C. Ettinger and be Dakota back. Dakota Insurance and Hedinger, Lemon, and Bison want to become your professional insurance agent for all of your insurance needs. They have a variety of insurance companies that allow them to design the best insurance program at the most competitive price for you. From homeowners, auto, commercial, farm, life and health, long-term care, and all the specialty coverages in between, they have the expertise and the insurance companies to develop and secure the right program for your specific situation. Contact Katie in the Hedinger office at 567-4531 or 425-8358. It's Dakota Insurance in Hedinger, Lemon, and Bison. More than ever, your business or farm needs a local banker, a local insurance agent, a local team of advisors. Dakota Bank meets that challenge head on. Whether you need financing to operate and grow, insurance to reduce your risks, cash management and visa card services, or trust and wealth management expertise, Dakota Bank is here for you. Call, click, or come in. Learn more at dakotabank.com or Run search online. Field for here. Five all plays right, the all the way down to the two-yard line. So here we go. Third down and goal. They're going to switch the slot man left side will be Heather. 
And a fumbled snap, and not going to get in is Jaron Rafferty. They're going to mark him at the one. So each – oh, no, there's a flag here. Hold on. We may be moving back farther. Oh, there, was a, there was a false start before, so that's going to move him back here, and that's a big penalty here. Mark him back to the seven-yard line. At the 355 mark here in the first quarter. No score on the board here yet. If you're just tuning in here, a beautiful night for football. You can still go over and get some chili or nepla soup over at the Methodist Church. And come on over and enjoy some Friday Night Lights. It's high formation now from about the eight-yard line is Manolovitz. Nidoc defense is bent, but they have not broke yet. Fakes it left, cuts it up, has a man. Oh, no, the... Receiver was not looking incomplete. That brings up fourth down and goal from about the eight yard line. So now Manolovitz has to go over. Trying to get into the end zone here and try to keep the momentum on their side here. But I tell you what, a defensive stop here would swing this uh, momentum back over on this side. So the Huskies need to hurry up here. Play clock winding down here. 3.50 on the clock. Game clock is good. Now we're at 10 seconds. So fourth and goal here. I formation is Manolovitz. Now he's got five seconds. Fakes it left. Looks, throws back. Oh, incomplete. He just underthrew him. That would have probably been six. Manolovitz underthrew Miller. And a turnover on downs. Turnover on downs. We'll give the football back to the Nighthawks here. We'll keep it here. First down. But yeah, a couple big plays there by the Nighthawk defense has given them the football back with a first down and 10 starting on their own eight yard line. So here comes Greff under center, eye formation, going to hand it off to Pierce. Pierce going to try to get outside and can't do it. He's going to get taken down right at the line of scrimmage, so no gain on Maddox's first carry here no in, on that in this second ten. possession at the 3.30 mark so here in the first quarter. So if you just make sure you don't have no score on the board. Once again, Tristan Picas is back, but uh, as you see him walk around pretty gingerly on that left uh, knee, I don't think he's going to see a lot of playing time here tonight. They may try to get him out there just to get some game experience here, but uh, probably a little bit more next week against Napoleon and get him ready for the playoffs. Handoff going to go a little big hold to the outside for Pierce. Pierce to the outside across the 15, takes it down to the 18-yard line. That should be enough for a first down. An 11-yard run for Maddox Pierce. Game for and that'll be the third first down of the evening. First down! So nice job by Pierce picking up the first down. And that, uh, these, these sweeps are going to be there all night. Trying to get up onto the inside. Nidox having a tough time running the ball up the gut. But uh, they've had some nice runs of the outside of 7, 5, and 11 by Maddox Pierce. Hayden Defoe comes wide out to the left. Shotgun formation now is Greff. See if they send the tight out. Nope, they're going to hand it off. Hasbrook, he kind of fumbles it a little bit, cuts across the grain. He's still on his feet, still rolling, and he's going to be taken down across the 30 up to the 35-yard line. A 16-yard run and a first down for the Nighthawks. That'll be the fourth first down. And that'll be the... First down! Be a timeout here. All right, official timeouts. We'll take an official timeout as well. Be back on KDC, right, back in 60. Why does that elementary game keep popping up? I don't know. That's, not, that's what we're trying to figure out. Oh. I looked down a couple times. I'm seeing this elementary kid running. I'm like. It's like really weird and it keeps like repeating the same thing over Oh. Okay, Mr. J says no one's still replays. Oh my god. I don't know 
he hasn't said anything. I'm guessing he's yeah, great. Him. If, if he doesn't say anything bad, then you're doing great. Uh, I'd like to... I don't want to know any things. Lost the coffee ever killing me. Especially after the, uh... Really. Also, I think this is a better show. All right, back to a first down and 10 after the official timeout. I formation behind Greff. Wide out to the right is Tanner Defoe. Fakes it left, fakes it right, rolls to his right. He's sending Defoe up. He's going to have a uh, holding in the backfield. It's going to be incomplete pass. As Bowden almost came up with it, but I think we're going to get a hold in the backfield. We will. So a holding penalty going to be the third 10-yard penalty tonight on the Nighthawks. So again, we're live on Consolidated Channel 18. We're also live on HPS Stream Team on YouTube. So we have you covered wherever you want to go, even on the radio on 1490 AM, 106.7 FM. So the big holding penalty from the spot as he was rolling out. I'm going to mark him back at the 20-yard line. So it'll be a first down. About 25. So we'll go I formation with Graf. Going to hand it off right side. Pierce, he's going to get gobbled up after a gain of about four. That brings up a second down. Here in this first quarter, nobody has yet to score here. The minute 58 to go. And actually, I was told the definition of a country mile is over 21 yards, so the Nighthawks have a second down and a country mile here. As they're sitting back at the 23-yard line, need to get all the way up to the 45-yard line. So we're right at the fringe of that country mile. We'll go I formation. Pitch going to go left side. Pierce finding a hole. Hits it hard. There he goes across the 30. and Oh, games. oh boy. Taken Pierce, and uh, boy, he got wrenched over by that D-back. Gain of 10 by Pierce. Gain by the Nighthawks, they lead to a third and 12. Tackled by Matt Heather. A hard tackle around the ankles, it just kind of whipped him around. So that brings up third down. It made uh, Pierce hobble back a little bit to that... Uh, to the huddle and looks like we're sitting at 58 seconds to go here in the first quarter. No score here in this one. Nighthawks have to hurry. They're gonna have to use the timeout here. Down to five seconds. Four, three, two. Are oh, you gonna get a delay a game here? They were at 10 seconds and none of the coaches were paying attention to that back judge. So that puts them back five more yards. Brings up third down and about 18. 39 seconds remaining here in the quarter. So third down coming up. Big offensive play here for the Nighthawks. This is definitely not four down territory by any means. So passing situation here with three wide outs to the right. Greff shotgun with Maddox Pierce standing right next to him. Good protection, steps up in the pocket, gets hit as he throws, and the foe keeps running, doesn't come back for it, incomplete. So that'll be the second incompletion here tonight. Brings up a fourth down punting situation here for the Nighthawks. They'll be punting from their own 28-yard line, and will be giving the football back to the Huskies with 32 seconds to go here in the first quarter. No score in this one. Seen a good one so far. Two defensive battles here tonight. Matt Heather back deep to receive here for the Huskies. Sophie, could you send to them a bit more? Alex Martinez will 
Stand on about his own 19 yard line. So now we're going to have to figure out the formation here. And now we got to call a timeout here with 32 seconds to go. So another timeout used here by the Night Ox. We'll take a break as well on Candy these days, credit cards come in lots of colors. Stars, stripes, platinum, plaid, but after that, they're all pretty much the same. Not ours. At the credit union, we offer very competitive rates on our credit cards. That's a design feature that's easy to appreciate. That's smart shopping. That's member serving member. Dakota Plains Federal Credit Union. Everything we do, we do for you. Federally insured by NCUA. Bright futures start today with an HSA or IRA from Dakota Western Bank. These tax advantage savings help you save for retirement, fund your medical care, and if you're eligible, get significant tax deductions. Ask your tax advisor and FM talk to Dakota team, Western uh, Stream Team and Consolidated. I've been getting texts from people sitting on their couches in the nice comfort of their own town. It doesn't beat it being out here. Beautiful night. Oh, another flag coming out here. We're going to have movement on the night ox on the, on the front line. Now the one official says, was he drawn? Uh, nope, he's saying, I saw what I saw. So we're going to get another five-yard penalty here for the Night Ox, who have now built up 40 yards in penalty yards here tonight. Once again, winner here tonight will be the two seed. A lot on the line here. First quarter action, no score. They're bringing everybody. Here comes a snap. Blocked. Blocked. It's going to hit the back of one of the Night Ox. They're going to roll out of bounds at the 22-yard line, and that's where the Huskies will take over at the Nighthawk 22-yard line just on the fringe of the red zone. They're going to mark him at the 23-yard line. They'll mark it. So now we got to get the sticks right. We got to put the other guy down there. Sticks are not right here. Hold on. Now we're waiting for there we go. All right, first and ten. After the punt block by the Wild, I was just there. That's the first time I've said wildfire here tonight. The Huskies. Here comes Manolovitz under center. Sends a man in motion. Hands it off left side. Miller breaks to the outside, slips and falls. He's going to be taken down by a host of Nighthawks. Devin Graff the first in on the tackle. And followed up by Pierce and a host of Nighthawks. So Devin Graff, first guy in on the tackle, brings up a second down as Miller got that handoff and there was nowhere to go on a loss of one. And that's how the first quarter is going to end. We'll send it to the studios on KNDC Hedinger. Consolidated Channel 18 and 91. HPS Stream Team. We're back with the second quarter with no score in one minute. And 11 coming up here on a beautiful Friday evening out at the Erling Dahl Sports Complex. Thanks for tuning in here this evening. And if you're uh, outside the listening area, a lot of people tuning in to the free app out there. Want to thank people for tuning in there. Out driving truck. We got some truck drivers out there. A Resner Trucking, a proud sponsor of Nighthawk Sports out listening in. On a Friday, Manolovitz under center, eye formation behind him. 
Back to pass. Looking quick little hitter. He's going to make the catch and will be tackled right away by Defoe out on that far side for no gain. So Heather makes the first catch of the night. Actually, they'll give him a yard out of it because it was a second down and 11. Brings up a third down and 10 now. Just around that 23-yard line. So once again, Huskies in four-down territory here as we just start the second quarter at the 11:28 mark. So he's second down and nine. Wide out to the left is Brock Ailis. Sitting behind Manolovitz, we have eye formation once again. Back to pass again, and now the whistle's going to be blown. We're going to get movement on the Huskies, so a five-yard penalty. Well, third on the offense, that marks the Huskies back five yards, leading to a third. So that'll bring up a third down and about 15 yards now for the Huskies. Clock sitting at 11:14 here this evening. So the Huskies now. Got inside that red zone, now gets pushed back out by some penalties. Shotgun formation now, three wideouts to the right for Hedinger County. Back to pass, Manolovic stepping up in the pocket. Pocket has a man wide open. Did he catch it? Touchdown! Matt Heather makes the connection from 26 yards out. That 26 yard touchdown. So Heather. Gets the Huskies on the board for the first time tonight. And we had to wait till the second quarter. This coming at the 10.38 mark. A nice play in that end zone by Matt Heather. He had good coverage on him. On the 26 yard catch from Manolovitz. So two point conversion coming up now. Coleman Olivitz directing traffic, one man wide to the right. Fakes the handoff, he's looking for him again. Still looking for him. Caught, what a play. Does he get in? Yes, the two point conversion to Heather is in. It's 8-0 Huskies, we're back in a minute. 8-0 Huskies. HSA or IRA. Dakota Western Bank, locations in Bowman, Rame, Scranton, Hedinger Region, and everywhere. Visit dwb.bank, member FDIC, that's Dakota Western Bank. Good luck to all the area students and athletes in this school year from Encompass Therapy. Alex, Kathleen, and their staff offer both in-home therapy or in-clinic appointments to meet your physical therapy needs. The Encompass Therapy Clinic is located next door to Family Dollar in Hedinger. Scheduling is flexible to accommodate work, school, and family calendars. Alex and Kathleen Thompson wish everyone a safe and healthy school year. Call 567-8910 or 567-3749 for more information. Or like and subscribe and also hit the notification button because they will notify you when they go live. So if you're watching right now, make sure you subscribe to the HPS stream team. On this Friday night, beautiful night for football. Can't ask for much better weather, uh, especially with uh, one more regular season game left. Expecting nice weather next week. And right now, the Huskies take the 8-0 lead. And here comes another onside kick, and Nighthawks need to jump on it. Boy, they were waiting for it to get 10 yards. Whelan luckily gets it at the 10-yard marker. He's got to jump on it earlier than that. But that is where the Nighthawks will take over. Once again, a, another onside kick. And the Nighthawks will start on the 50-yard line. It's been all Maddox Pierce here tonight, except for that 16-yard run by Hasbrook. Other than that, eight carries for Maddox Pierce. And you got to wonder which one of the Huskies is a spy on Pierce. We'll go handoff left side. Going to kick it to the outside is Pierce. He's going to be taken down on the sidelines. Taken out of bounds. Clock will stop here. They'll mark him out of bounds after about a seven-yard carry. 
is Pierce. Clock stops at 10.32 here. 8-0, heading your Huskies with the early lead in this one. Once again, that chili and Nefla feed still going on until 7 o'clock this afternoon. Still see people walking in over there, so get, get over there, get some Nefla. I forgot to do that. So if anybody wants to bring over a bowl of Nefla for halftime, that would be great. So we'll go I formation for Greff. Defoe the wide out to the right. Back to pass. Straight drop back. Greff has to step up in the pocket and does, but he can't get anywhere. He just tucked it and ran. He loses two yards on the play. That brings up a third down in about four or five. With the clock sitting at 10-16 and rolling here in this first half. We're in second quarter action. Other scoring updates for this evening. 32-0, Grant County Flasher leads Richard and Taylor. Still two minutes to go in the first quarter. Laramore leads Nelson County 6-0. Cavalier big on Benson County in the first quarter, 30-0. Pitch going to go left side to Pierce. He stumbles in the backfield and... Well, you hope he didn't get hurt. Boy, the way he went down, he gets up with a little bit of a limp, but he'll slip and fall for a loss of five on the play. A very scary play there. Brings up a fourth down now and about seven. So decision time for Coach Lefebvre here. Are you going to go for it here or are you going to punt? Looks like uh, they're going to have Martinez back there to punt. Going conservative here, going to get some field position. Hang your hat on the defense here. Shot, or the uh, snap is there. Martinez with a high spiraling punt. It's going to hit at about the 15, bounce to the 10, down to the 9. Nice punt by Martinez. Inside the 9 is where the Huskies will start at. So we'll take a quick 30, be back with the Husky offense in 30 seconds leading the way to better mobility. A shoulder to lean on Friends wise and warm Strong hands to guide you City or farm All across North Dakota, Farmers Union Insurance agents are friends you can lean on with one-stop security for yourself and those you love. Safe in the feeling Never alone. Call Kim Hart River leads Bowman County in the first quarter, 8-0. Kind of a shocker over up in Hart River. So we'll go I formation now, first, third possession now tonight for the Huskies. Pitch going to go right side. Miller trying to get to the outside. He gets swarmed under at the one-yard line. Almost a safety. A loss of nine. Loss of nine tonight. On so Wilson. Miller... Up a second and one. Actually put him at loss of eight with the game of ball at the two yard line. So loss of eight. As they gave him a favorable mark, I thought he was down near the goal line, but they're going to give him two yards. So a second down and 18. Need to get to the 20 yard line for a first down. Nidoc defense staring in on the backfield of Manolovitz, who's almost on the ground. He crouches so far underneath. And a quarterback keeper is not going to get you much. Gets him about three. And Manolovitz had that 35-yarder earlier. You might want to go back to that play. As we're at the eight-minute mark. 8-0 heading your county. So we'll see if they bring out the option here. This is That's been their uh, biggest play here tonight. They had a 35-yarder. In a 13-yarder, they did have the 26-yard touchdown catch to Heather. But you haven't seen that option since that 35-yarder, so we'll see what kind of play call is going to be coming out here. Third down and 13. you got to be reading that one, that's for sure. Nope, fumble. Fumble. Who's got it? Looks like the Huskies have it. They will gain a yard out of it. As Miller had to jump down on it, now a punting situation here for the Huskies. So a fourth down and 13 coming up here for the Huskies. They'll punt it away to Tanner Defoe. As the punter will be in the end zone, about three yards deep in the end zone. What's that? Did you mean the Nighthawks? I don't know. So 
Going back to punt. There's a snap. Just, oh, a bad punt. It's going to go off the side of his foot. Hit out at the 13-yard line. Now the Nighthawks will start on the 13-yard line. So good starting field position once again here. A flag on the play is in the end zone. Oh, and they're going to do running into the kicker. Is that going to be a five-yarder? Boy, the Huskies got saved on that one. Did not see the flag come out. They were at the... Now, if it's a five-yarder, if, if it's rough running into the kicker, why are we going back the other way? So we're going to respot this real quick. I know, I know. So, yeah, we got to mark it off five yards. Here we go. They, they actually marched it back five yards. So that'll bring up a fourth down and nine. We got things straightened away here. As the Huskies back to kick it away. There's a snap. The lefty boots in a little bit better of a kick, and it's going to come over here in the sidelines, hit at about the 32-yard line. That's where the Nighthawks will take over here at their own, or at the Husky 32-yard line. As we're sitting at 8-0 Huskies. Early in this one, we're in second quarter action, 6.42 to go. Other scores in 11-B, Langdon area, Edmore Munich defeated Grafton yesterday 48-12. Rugby leads Park River area 12-6. Lisbon over Northern Cass 16-0. Hillsboro Central Valley leading Botno 7-0. Thompson leading Oak Grove 22-11. Number one Kindred leads 7-0. And Beulah leads Shiloh Christian 16-13 in the second quarter. So first down and 10 for the Nighthawks. I formation behind Graf and now is gonna be a flag encroachment. So five yard penalty on the Huskies. We'll bring it now a first down and five. So first and five coming up. Ladox have the football in excellent field position here, sitting at the 27-yard line now. First down and five, 6.42 to go here in the second. Trying to get on the scoreboard here. They trail it here. Hand off Pierce. Gets to the outside, cuts back up near the 20. Near first down yardage. And they're going to mark him shy of the first down by about a yard. So we're going to give him a gain of four. One official saying first down. The other one, well, the guy standing right next to the chain says, no, it's not a first down. Nice run by Pierce. Well, trying to figure this out here. And now we're going to measure. So it looks like they're going to measure here, see if they got the first down here. This will be a second down in inches or a first down, one of the two. Clock stops at 6.27 to go here. Some other scores. We mentioned the Beulah-Shiloh game. Kildare leads Southern McLean 28-22. to Other scores in 9B. Cavalier leading Benson County, as I said, 30-0. to Surrey over Alexander, 20 to zero. And that's all the scores we have in. West Oak, Glenburg, Newburg, 44-0 over Mohol, Mohol, Lansford, Sherwood. All right, so we are a yard short here. So a yard short of the first down are the Nighthawks. So the second down and one. Coming up for the Nighthawks here. I formation with 6.27 to go in the second. 8-0 Huskies. Greff awaiting the official's word, and we're going to start the clock, and Greff will come up under center. Tanner Defoe, the wide out to the left. Quick little handoff. Hasbrook, he gets spun around, nowhere to go. A loss on the play of about a yard. So that brings up third down. Caught him right around the ankle, and Hasbrook uh, couldn't get out. He tried to spin around, but lost a yard. So that brings up third down and one. Once again, uh, four down territory here for the Nighthawks. 
deep once again into Husky territory here, but both defenses give them credit. They played some good football here tonight. Greff under center, trying the hard snap count. Instead, hands it off Pierce. Pierce gonna get bottled up, but he should get enough for a first down, he does. All right, he's gonna get him a gain of two, so that'll be a first down for the Nighthawks. Fifth first down of the night. Hard running by Max Pierce, leads Four, three, the Big play offensively for the Nighthawks to keep the clock rolling, 5.37. And Tanner Defoe will bring the new play call in. Extra $10. I'm cheap. <laughs> Just sitting outside the 21 yard line are the Nighthawks. As time ticking away here in this first half. Greff sends two wideouts to the right. That's Martinez and Defoe. Back to pass, looking into the end zone for Defoe, overthrows him. Had him in the end zone there, just overthrew him, incomplete. Third pass tonight here for, Def for uh, Greff, just over the outstretched arms of Tanner Defoe. Going down into the end zone where the other team stream, stream team camera is. Good shot from the end zone there. Again, there's a Hall of Fame induction at halftime. And we're at the 5.08 mark here before halftime. I'll thank all of our great sponsors and of course everybody for tuning in tonight. Wherever you're listening at, we appreciate it. I want to thank all of our sponsors. Make sure you thank those sponsors as well. Hand off Hasbrook, goes to the left, out to the right, down to the 10, taken down at the nine yard line, but that'll be another first down for the Nighthawks on a 12 yard run from Bowden. Six first downs now for the Nighthawks, and they're now oh, inside man. the 10 yard line, so a first and goal coming up for the Nighthawks, trying to get on the board. They trail it here 8 0. So now we come back, eye formation. Night Ox, roll it left to Pierce. Oh, he gets hit hard. Boy, there's a head-on collision there. Flag coming out. It's gonna be no gain on the play, but another hold gonna be called on the Nighthawks. Penalty yards up to 50 now. Hold on, Nighthawks. That'll march back 10 yards, first and goal. So that'll move him back down to a first down and goal from the 19 yard line. So now the Nighthawks need to hurry up here. They're gonna get close to that uh, 10 second. We'll go I formation. Once again, here's five seconds. Almost going to be a delay here. And he does snap it right before the delay. And whoa, Hasbrook just stands there and it opens up. Touchdown. You be exciting. 19 yard oh, touchdown yeah. run for Bowden Hasbrook. Hasbrook is Let's touchdown. see if I don't know if you're going to see the replay on that one, but on either team, either the consolidated or the stream team. He got into that second set of, or this first set of linebackers, and I think he was just so surprised that it was that open as he puts the touchdown on the board at the 4.09 mark here in the second. That coming on a second and goal from the 19. So once again, important two point conversion. Throws it to a wide open to fold. Two pointer is good. 8 8. 409 to go here in the first half. We'll take a break. Be back in 60 with the kickoff.
Welcome back here as the Nighthawks sitting at an 8-8 ball game, 4.09 to go here in the quarter. Kicking it away now will be Defoe, end over end, going to skip up the field, bounces over that second line right to the hands up to the 25. To Manolovitz across the 30, taken out of bounds at the 33-yard line. So that is where the Huskies will take over on their own 33-yard line. So we're tied at eight. All the scoring has come here in the second quarter. Both teams have had two nice drives. Back-to-back -back scoring drives, and we've had some bad punts. We've had some horrible field position. We've had some great field position. We had a little bit of a mixed bag of everything here in this first half. Now the Nighthawk defense comes back out on the field. Husky's going to come out and a three wide out set to this left side. Shotgun formation. Isman Olivitz. Looking over the defense. Hard snap count, back to pass. Letting a couple guys through. Has a man up the middle. Oh, it's gonna be incomplete. Intended for Matt Heather, incomplete. Incomplete pass, second and 10. Two completions tonight from Manolovitz for 27 yards, has four incompletions, so he's two for six. That stops the clock at the 358 mark. Second down and 10. Halftime, we'll have your halftime stats. We'll run down also the your sports scoreboard. Coming up here at halftime, a lot of local scores going on around the area. This one with the biggest implications of the two or three seed, and of course, uh, we're seeing a, a good one here in the first half in an 8-8 ball game. Shotgun once again. We're going to put the three wideouts to the right this time. Going to option it out left side. Overthrows Maddox Pierce. Pierce was the closest one to an incomplete for Lane Kovar. So that brings up third down and 10. Big play here coming up for the Huskies as they haven't had the best of punts here tonight. Clock stops at 3.53, so... Two straight incompletions, just as good as two timeouts here for the Nighthawks. And they'd be maybe working for a timeout here. They're shuffling in guys left and right here. Let's see if they can get up under center here with enough time. Now there's 10 seconds to go. They got to hustle. Six, nine, there's nine out there. Now it's down to five, three, Nope, now a timeout's going to be called. No, they're going to get the delay. So delay a game. That'll be the fourth person or a fourth five-yard penalty here tonight on the Huskies. And now that brings up a third down at about 15. From the 27-yard line. With 3.53 to go here in the second quarter. In a tie ball game at eight on this Friday night. Once again, thanking all of our great sports sponsors bringing you tonight's action here on KNDC. We'll shotgun formation once again. Manolovic's going to send a man in motion left to right. Going to hand it off right side. A little bit of running room, but that gets gobbled up quickly. On the carry is number... Let's see the number on that. Looks like Kane Martin in on the carry. So timeout on the floor, on the field. 8-8 our score, 341 to go here in the second. We'll take a break, be back in one minute. I can't talk when I'm on the air. Sorry. So, but. When do you do the sponsors? Could you also do the subscribe? Oh, if I remember, I can't remember everything. I have so much stuff I gotta do.
Since day one of starting our business, Consolidated has been there and has been a reliable partner of ours. At Consolidated, we're constantly striving to bring more value to our business customers. Together, our high-performance servers and computers, network equipment and cloud services optimize business operations. Call 483-4000 today. Fourth down and 13 coming up. Punting situation once again for the Huskies. Snap is there. The lefty boots it away. A nice punt this time. Going to hit round the 45 out of bounds. Well, we're going to come back to the 48-yard line. So the Nighthawks will start on their own 48-yard line as we get ready to uh, run the next three minutes and 34 seconds. Here tonight. So first down and 10 coming up. It's again an 8 8 ball game here tonight. Been a fun one. First down and 10 coming up, and a little confusion here. We're finally going to get Jaron Frank in there. Now he has to be told what play it is. Now we're going to switch around linemen. Now Whelan's on the wrong side. Here we go. Greff still got 10 seconds. Still have some time. Snap going to be there. Handoff going to go left, right side. And still running. Still on his feet. Across up to the 50, down to the 48. That's going to be Pierce gain of four. So Pierce will get four yards out of it. Brings up a second down and just over five and a half yards with 3.09 to go here in the quarter. Nidox trying to get in striking distance here, trying to put another score on the board here. As they trailed for a majority of this second quarter till, till now it's tied. Back to pass Greff. Greff working right, using his legs, throws it up, has a man. Oh, it's going to be picked off by Manolovitz. Manolovitz across the 40, up to the 50, taken down at the 48-yard line. And there's no flags on the play, so the interception will bring it back the other way for the second turnover of the night. As the football was intercepted by Kane Martin. Heather picked off the first one. And that gives the Huskies the football now with 2.45 to go here in the quarter. So second quarter action, first down coming up. I formation now behind Manolovitz. Manolovitz back to pass, right from midfield, pump fake, throws it up, has a man, stride for stride, under throws him. Defoe tried to get the interception. That'll be an incomplete pass. Looked like he had stepped out of bounds anyway. The official threw his hat, so when that happens, the receiver was forced out of bounds. So that brings up second down. A lot of incomplete passes here by both quarterbacks here tonight. Clock stopped at 2.38 in an 8-8 ball game. I formation behind Manolovitz. Second down and 10 from the 49. Manolovitz crouched down, rolls out, steps up, has a man caught at the 41-yard line. Taken down by Graff, caught by Matthew Bach. And that'll be a gain of about seven on the play. Brings up a third down and a manageable three now. As the clock is winding down near the two minute mark, 2.10 to go in an 8 8 ball game. We'll go back to I formation now. Manolovic sends a wide out to the left. That is Heather, who caught the one touchdown. Pitch going to go left side, reverse. They read it, but Heather running into his own guy here, and he's going nowhere. He'll get taken down behind the line of scrimmage, so a big loss on the play of about seven. Intended reverse leads to a loss on the play. Portion five for the Huskies. Well, they give, well, they give a pretty nice mark. Loss of only two, they're only going to say. So that brings up fourth down and five with a minute 29 to go. The clock will roll here. Nighthawks, I don't believe any timeouts left. They might have one. And it's four down territory, it looks like, for the Huskies with 115 to go. They got to hurry up or they're going to get a delay. Back to pass. 
Looking up, has a man. Oh, almost picked off by Maddox Pierce. The incomplete pass, it's a turnover on downs. For the second time tonight, we'll give the football back to the Nighthawks here with a minute five to go. So now, are you gonna be content? Take a couple running plays, get into halftime. Are you gonna try to take a shot up the field and get into some striking distance here? Either way, it's tempting. If you can try to get roll Greff out, maybe get a receiver wide open. You haven't seen Martinez or Larson in the passing game yet here tonight. And I don't see Martinez out there. So we'll go I formation behind Greff from the year own 42 yard line. Here comes a reverse, fakes the reverse. Pierce keeps it across the left side. Luckily the defensive end stayed at home up to the 48 yard line, gain of six. Well that could have been a easy touchdown if they would have bit on the reverse, but Maddox Pierce holds on to it after a gain of six. Gain about six on Brings up second down. As once again, they started on their own 42 yard line. Clock sitting at 35 seconds now to go. It looks like the Night Ducks are going to be content just to run a couple more plays here. Maybe just one more. Handoff going to go nowhere. Gain of about two. And that looks like that's... Well, the Night Ducks are going to take the timeout. So we'll take a timeout as well on KDC Hedinger. Consolidated. Exceed your expectations. Dakota Insurance and Hedinger, Lemon, and Bison want to become your professional insurance agent for all of your insurance needs. They have a variety of insurance companies that allow them to design the best insurance program at the most competitive price for you. From homeowners, auto, commercial, farm, life and health, long-term care, and all the specialty coverages in between, they have the expertise and the insurance companies to develop and secure the right program for your specific situation. Contact Katie in the Hedinger office at 567-4531 or 425 425- 8358. It's Dakota Insurance in Hedinger, Lemon, and Bison. More than ever, your business or farm needs a local banker, a local insurance agent, a local team of advisors. Dakota Bank meets that challenge head on. Whether you need financing to operate and grow, insurance to reduce your risks, cash management and visa card services, or trust and wealth management expertise, Dakota Bank is here for you. Call, click, or come in. Learn more at dakotabank.com or search online for business banking. Dakota Bank, member FDIC. Insurance and trust are not FDIC insured. These days, Night Ox took the time out here. So very interesting call here. They're going to maybe try to take a couple shots up the field here. Pitch going to go right side. Halfback pass for Pierce. Has Defoe wide open. Caught. Taken down. Oh, well, they're going to say he went out of bounds. They're going to stop the clock at the 27-yard line. On a 23-yard catch to Defoe from Pierce. Down to 16 seconds to go. He'll probably just come up and spike it. So that brings up second down and 10 from the 28-yard line. So the Night Ox now have a shot to throw into the end zone here a couple times. See if they can put something on the board. Again, they tied things up at 8-8 at the 4.09 mark. Tanner DeFoe bringing that new play call back in. Sitting at about the 28-yard line, so it's definitely doable here from back at the 27-yard line is where they're going to mark it. Devin Greff under center with eye formation. Frank and Pierce in at running back. Two in the slot over on the left side. Defoe and Martinez looking for Martinez. Nope, he's going to throw up to Defoe. Has him in the end zone. Over, threw him by a foot. A nice throw just getting over the fingertips of Defoe into the end zone. And an injured Husky on the field with six seconds to go. And if they're not injured enough, this, uh, this injury uh, depleted our, uh, Husky team sitting at number 25. This is Matthew Bach, a senior. He's going to hobble off. So the Night Ox will now have one more play into the end zone here as Defoe just couldn't get to it. 
So now you're going to send out Caden Anderson wide out to the left. Maddox Pierce in a tailback. Eye formation behind Devin Graff. Whelan at tight end. Martinez at tight end. Fakes it again. Hands it right side. Pierce, and that one's going nowhere. And with time running out here, ooh, a lot of bodies all over the place here. We got a, no flags anywhere. All right, folks, that'll end the half. Got about a gain, a gain of about Nine seven for Maddox Pierce. Eight eight. And that's how our halftime is going to come. As Nighthawks football will resume shortly after a few words from our sponsors. Teamwork, talent, dedication, leadership. These values that win championships on the field, build community, improve lives, and make a difference every single day. For you, for our neighbors, for our community, this is our team. This is our field. Gate City Bank, for a better way of life. AB Jewelers has been proudly serving Hedinger and its surrounding communities for over 45 years. From candles to diamonds, clocks, watches, books, and much more, they can help you find the perfect gift for your friends and family. They are open Monday through Friday from 9 to 5.30 and Saturdays from 9 to 4. So come on down and visit Kathleen and Kent Brackle at 206 South Main Street in Hedinger. Here at Kennedy's, we have great staff and organizations so you can find what you need easily. We provide a wide variety of foods and the freshest produce. Our deli is open daily from 11 to 1. Trust in us that there is an item on sale just waiting for you. Here at Kennedy's, our quality is the key. Attention coaches, players, and fans. Here is a message from Nighthawk Nation. We as Nighthawks expect you to follow these simple expectations. Make sure to practice good sportsmanship. Please be respectful to all. Positive cheering goes a long way. And remember, we are just kids. We all make mistakes. To our coaches, remember to always encourage your players. We all make mistakes, so for the players to stay focused on the game, as coaches, you should always talk positively to your players. And remember, to relax, let the players play, and the refs ref. To all players, leave a positive imprint on and off the field, court, mat, and track. Work hard, play a role, and most importantly, have fun. It's just a game. Fans, we need to see you at our sporting events because without you, there is no excitement. To make sure you stay at our games, please refrain from using bad language, no yelling at refs, coaches, and players. Make your yelling positive because you can't cheer if you're not here. So remember, be positive, let the refs have the coaches coach. Most importantly, the players play. Go Nighthawks! If you want some artisan coffee or a bite to eat, visit the Peacock Mercantile located at downtown Main Street in Hedinger. The Peacock has many things for you and your friends to enjoy. You can buy goods made by the local community at the modern day general store while getting yourself something to drink and eat. Feel free to stay and have fun with your friends or family or even rent out the venue 213 to host events. You can visit us at 213 South Main Street or contact us at 701-637-0102. Did you know you can watch our live streams in high quality? It's simple. Just click on the gear icon and choose the quality that works best for your device and connection. You can choose up to a crisp 1080p at a smooth 60 frames per second. And as always, thanks for watching.
Hey everybody, this is Joel Janikowski from Hedinger Public School here with you on Hawk Talk. We're going to be talking with Dr. Tara File uh, about a few different things that she's doing here at the school um, today with not only our students but also our community. So I would like to introduce uh, Dr. Tara File here on the podcast. Tara, thank you very, very much for coming. Thanks for having me. I'm happy to be here. Awesome. So where, where are you originally from? So I, I grew up in the Bismarck Mandan area, but truly my, my roots are here in Hedinger. I, my my mom was a graduate here, Colette Spihovic of Hedinger oh, okay. High School. My grandfather, Delmer Spihovic, spent most of his working life right here in these walls. Oh, wow. And he, he was a shop teacher. I'm sure many from his generation oh, yes. would okay. remember so, him. So he you're was, talking about Joey Erickson's uh, dad. Yes. Okay. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. Okay. And so I, I, I'm really honored to be here, really knowing that this this place and the people here meant so much to him, and he meant a lot to me. That's awesome. I, I do. Yeah. yeah. I hear very many 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 good stories. Yeah. Awesome. So so you're originally from Mandan. You're you're doing a little bit of work here. Where where did you go to Where did you go to school? Like uh, after you left Mandan, where did you go? Sure. So I so I went to St. Mary's High School in, in Bismarck, and then I went to college on the East Coast in Washington D.C. at a small university called Catholic University. And I got my psychology undergraduate degree there. And after that, I went down to the University of Kansas, go Jayhawks, Jayhawk (laughs) basketball for a a PhD program in clinical psychology. So I spent some time there earning my PhD and then did my um, kind of post PhD work in Minneapolis, St. Paul, before finally coming back to Bismarck to to make it my home and live and work there. So you've been really traveling quite a bit. I have. I made a big circle out east and then came back to the Midwest. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. So, so that, that brought you out all to college and everything like that. What made you go um, into that profession? What, what, what pulled you in that direction? You know, I think I knew from a very young age, probably as young as middle school, to be honest, that I wanted to work with people and directly with people. People are endlessly fascinating. And I found myself gravitating toward wanting to, to help, to give and to serve friends, especially friends who were struggling, even in those early years. And I, as I delved more into the profession, learning about it, it just became clear to me that this was an incredible opportunity to do something that was not only meaningful, but exciting and interesting and engaging in a multitude of ways. And, and truth be told, there really has not been a dull or boring day since I started this work. So I've been very happy with, with my career path. I, I believe that. I believe that. So that really lit your brain on fire since... Yeah. So yeah. it's really young. Well, and truthfully, I had a wonderful teacher, a wonderful teacher. Mr. Vetter was his name. Okay. It's Gerald Vetter uh, in, at St. Mary's High School who taught psychology class, AP psychology. And it was, you know, his mentorship and his teaching style that really ignited that fire for me. So I, I go back and, and really have to give him some credit and thank him for, for being such a fantastic teacher. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. That's awesome. So, you, you know, you did your high school, you did your college. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you came back to the Bismarck Mandan area. So what are you doing there now? So I wear a multitude of hats now. I you know, Part of my work historically has been at one of the two local hospitals, CHI St. Alexis Health. I have in the past done exclusively therapy work for, for kids all the way up to adults. You know, kids as young as 7, 8, 9, 10, uh, all the way up to 90s, 93, 94 years old, all across different diagnoses and, and life interests. But now my work focuses a little bit differently. So in addition to to therapy work that I've done in the past, I now focus a lot of my time doing education and consultation work, like the work I'm doing here in Hedinger. So I I often am hired by schools or businesses or organizations to come in and help coach or teach about mental health. Long and short of it is, is how to help people be healthy and happy and reach their goals. But I really, really enjoy this kind of work. I speak to large groups. I work one-on-one with leaders of different organizations. And I really just help people become their best possible selves. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. And, and in, in addition to that, I was actually at um, uh, Ms. Ms. Files' presentation for the uh, juniors and seniors this afternoon. And I don't think I've ever seen a more engaging public speaker Oh, Ever that was very you. very enjoyable to watch. It was very very educational, and I learned a lot and, and heard a lot of things that I like to hear. So that was, that was really really great to see that. Um, so you're really in this wheelhouse of passion. Is mm-hmm. what's going on. You're finding that yep. that that uh, that thing that really gets you excited about life. Um, but you're you're here with the kids. You're you're working on what exactly with the kids when we were doing these presentations. I was talking about. Yeah. You know, we talked quite a bit about resilience today. You know, we. 
we as a society struggle with this, I think. You know, as a larger society, as Americans, somehow most of us have received the message at some point through our youth that a hardy, resilient person is somebody who really gets through things without struggling much, right? Which couldn't be more false. <laughs> if we actually look at people in life who are wildly successful, who are healthy, who are happy, they often have numerous periods throughout their life of struggle, of hardship, of feeling down, possibly even depressed or anxious at times. And what I, the message I sent to the kids today and the message that I really want the community at large to know is that it's okay to struggle. It's human to have tough times and you can struggle and bounce back well. And so I shared with the students today several tips and strategies, exercises that they can use to make sure that they know how to handle that struggle and what to do when they're stuck in the mud instead of just staying stuck there or, or getting down on themselves for having a bad day or a tough time. I want them to know that, it, that it's normal, it's okay to be there, and that there are small steps they can take to keep on driving. Because you remember my analogy, Absolutely. keep on driving Absolutely. toward having a great year, even if they are having a tough day or a tough time. What were, what were some of the tips that you were giving them to kind of let our listeners know, kind of like what were some of the examples that you were giving or tips that you were giving them to get through those challenging times? Yeah, great question. I think the first tip is really just understanding and remembering that you're not a weak person. You're not a, 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 a bad person if you have a tough day or if you're feeling anxious, insecure, lonely, stressed, bored, whatever it may be, you're human. And so starting from that jump off point is critical, remembering, oh, it's just a tough day. That's all it is. And there are actually things I can do to help myself continue to be healthy and reach my goals, even though I'm feeling a little bit sad or down or, or bored or anxious or whatever it is today. We did, though, go through several different exercises, a breathing exercise, uh, what we call in, in the psychology literature a progressive muscle relaxation exercise to really help the kids learn tangible strategies they can use to calm down their nervous system. We went through a savoring exercise, which is more on the positive psychology realm of things, but so important. I actually have a TED Talk. Uh, yeah, if you Google yes. ter Dr. Terrifile, you know, TED Talk, it'll pop up and you can learn more about this. But I talked to the kids a bit about how much our brains are really pulled toward noticing the stressful negative things around us and how critical it is to spend some time soaking up, noticing, and really savoring the good things that happen around us. So we, we did a little savoring exercise to help them remember to look for the good and to really let that soak in as well. Because overall, I, I, I really want to send home the message for the kids that feeling is good and it's important to get good at feeling good noticing the good around us and it's important to get good at feeling bad sometimes and, and learning and how letting to go life across happen. that challenge yeah. yeah that's phenomenal that's fantastic so um what grades did you work with today here at the school doing the presentations Today I spoke with fifth through twelfth grade. It was wonderful. They they came kind of in in little segments, you know, fifth and sixth and seventh together, eighth and tenth together, and then eleventh and twelfth together. And I, I truly have to say, this has been a, a treat for me. I speak to a lot of students. I speak to a lot of people on and off. And and this group of Hedinger students was so respectful and so kind. And they were they were just enjoyable. They 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 laughed along with me. They did the exercises along with me. And and they really were uh, a an exceptionally good group to work with. They surprised me in that way. Not all students are that participative, that kind, that respectful. So kudos to you guys and what you're doing with these kids here. That's great. Yeah. That's really great. So now you, you've worked with the kids, um, actually kind of dialing back a little bit. One of the things you were talking about is one of your um, exercises where you were doing the breathing. That was one of the tips mm -hmm. that you were giving with the kids. Mm -hmm. um, it was kind of funny. We heard Mr. Siemens say, oh, we're done. Why can't we go a little bit longer? <laughs> yeah. I was right in that boat with them. I wanted to do a little bit longer because I finally kind of had that nice little moment to just calm down, relax, yeah. and kind of decentralize. And that was so, so enjoyable. Well, and that, that's the interesting thing about these exercises. They're not rocket science. We all know that breathing can help the body calm down, but knowing it and doing it are very different things. And I, I, I tell people that all the time, that it's just like going to the gym. You really have to spend that time exercising that muscle, action. practicing we're at to, just to out have of half time. In an 8-8 ball game, Nidox will kick off to start this third quarter. And kicking away will be Hayden Defoe. Split the guys in the back. Going to be picked up by Matt Heather at the 20. Across to 25-30. And there's a flag coming in from way in the back all the way to the 41-yard line. 
but that one probably will be coming back here. Let's see what the call is going to be. He was pointing toward the Nighthawk side, so I don't know if there's maybe a face mask or if it's going to be holding, but they are pointing it that way. They're going to call holding on the kicking team. Holding on the kicking team is the call. All right. Once again, not sure how those happen. But we start this third quarter with yet another chunk of penalty yards. At 10, so gives the Huskies the football at Midfield. So Manolovic shotgun formation for the Huskies. One wide out to the left, one way to the right. Going to do the option. That one went for a long way. It's going to be pitched out to Rafferty. Rafferty across the 40. And there's another flag way back here. So we'll see if this 11-yard run, it looks like it's in the holding vicinity. There you go, so we can see again. I'm going to call block in the back. Block in the back on the offense. On the Huskies. So that will, it's going to be a spot foul replay first down. So we'll be looking about a first down and 13. You keep losing it. Get a bit closer to the thing. Oh, that's 10 yards from the spot of the foul. That set the Huskies back. So a first down and about 18 looks first like. First down about 18. We're going to mark them at the, about the 43, 44 yard line. Just shy of the 44. So it looks like about 17. We'll say first down and 17. Give or take. Clock will roll. 11.40 to go here in the third quarter. An 8-8 ball game. Coming wide out to the left here is Rhett Miller. Shotgun once again for Manolovitz. Long snap count. Manolovitz hands it off. Oh, big smack. Taken down by Blake Larson. Finished off. by Pierce, Rafferty on the carry, gain of about, eh, about a yard. So brings up second down and 16 here, back in their own territory as they started on the Nighthawk 49 yard line. So we'll go I formation for Manolovitz, and now flag coming out, encroachment or lined up in the, that is encroachment on the Huskies, a five yard penalty. Four, five, six, seven, eight, Frozen nine, 10, 11, 12. 13 now total penalties to here tonight. Yards. Seven for the Nighthawks, six for the Huskies. This is comprised of Mott, Regent, New England. 10.45 to go here in the third, eight, eight. Huskies going the wrong way. Second down and 22. I formation for Manolovitz. Passing situation here. Unless they decide to keep her on the ground here, and they do. Handoff gonna go right side to Miller. Miller to the outside of the 50. Taken down at the 49, 48, rolled out of bounds. At the 47. What a 13, 14 yard run for Rafferty. So that brings up a third down and manageable now of about eight. 9.55 remaining here in the third quarter in an 8-8 ball game. Huge rivalry game here. As we said, this is the two and three seeds battling it out here to see who gets a home playoff game. Manolovitz rolls out right, looking back. Finds a man left side is Miller, and he's going to be taken. Oh, oh, he breaks a tackle left side. Down the sidelines he goes. Pushed out of bounds finally at the 25-yard line. Jaron Frank had him dead to rights in the backfield. On a 27-yard run for Miller. And that one is huge. A first down for the Huskies. Only their fifth first down of the night, but first none bigger. We'll keep the Huskies drive going. 
clock at 927, 8 8 our score. Manolovitz back under center. He crouches down all the way in, but you think he'd be tired toward the end of a ball game. Hands it off left side, Miller. He's going to get taken down in the backfield. And that's going to be Blake Larson, and, help him and out, helping him out will be Jaron Frank as well. So that'll be Miller, a gain of nothing on the play. Brings up a second down and 10. Here in this third quarter, I formation, Manolovitz. Wide out to the left now is Matt Heather, who has the only touchdown catch for the Huskies tonight. Hands it off right side. Miller finds a hold of the outside. Breaking free and taken down inside the interior as he cut back as Defoe. And Frank will take him down. No, it looks like that's Martinez. But a nice run by Rhett Miller. A gain of that nine. Third and one. So that brings up a third down and one. So the Huskies in business. In the red zone here. 8-10 remaining here in the third. Trying to get their second score of the night. Take the lead here early in this third quarter. And now the Nighthawks are going to jump off sides and will give the Huskies a first down. The eighth penalty tonight on the Nighthawks. We mentioned last week Nighthawks had over 100 yards of penalties. Trying to avoid that here tonight if you want to get a win. And right now, eight penalties. And about 65 yards worth of penalties as well. So that brings up first down and goal from about the nine yard line. Clock rolling at eight minutes here in this third quarter. Manolovitz gets up under center, literally under center. Sends a man in motion right to left is Heather. Hands it off, Miller. Miller gets stood up after a couple yards. He'll be taken down at the line of scrimmage by Braden Yonner. It's a gain of about one for Miller. Short gain for the Huskies, second goal. Brings up second down a goal. They did the same thing down in this other end when they were up 8-0. They had opportunities and ran the ball three times at one yard a pop. And then got dinged on a, 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 foul, or a, a penalty that drove them back to a uh, fourth and goal, and they just couldn't make it in. So here comes Manolovitz under center. I formation behind him. Now another flag's going to come in. And who's lined up? It's going to be against the Huskies again. Another five-yard penalty encroachment. <clears throat> encroachment on the offense. So somebody's lining up ahead of the football. You got to be second able to see the uh, see where you're at on the field. So now a second down and goal from the 12 for the Huskies. Once again, thanks for tuning in to all the uh, places you can. HBS Stream Team, Consolidated, Channel 18 and 91. 18 is live. And then on our website, kndcradio.com and our free app. So Manolovitz has the football under center. Comes out, hands it, keeps it himself, looks, and now he's going to get sacked in the backfield. Going to be taken down the backfield by Sam Wheeland. Sam Wheeland with a nice so another big there. loss on the play back to yeah, the 18-yard line. So third down and goal from about the 18-yard line. They're going to call loss of five on that one. That'll be from about the 16-yard line. So they'll move him back even farther to the 16 or 17 yard line. As we're now halfway through this third quarter, four down territory here for the Huskies. So they're gonna try to get at least some of this back, but they're in striking distance right now. They're spreading out the wide receivers now, one to the left, one to the right. Back to pass, looking, has a man in the end zone, caught Heather, touchdown. Another beautiful play from Manolovitz to Heather from 16 yards out. Pass by the Huskies, lead to a touchdown. And this coming at the 547 mark of the third. Heather, another touchdown catch. 
from Manolovitz. Two point conversion coming up. They are very important here tonight. As Manolovitz goes under center, we'll go I formation behind him looking at this two point conversion. Fakes the handoff, rolls to the right, looking into the end zone, intercepted, and it'll make it. Interception on the two point 14 to eight. No in favor of the Huskies, we'll be back with a kickoff in 30 seconds. Heading your screen, eight. Heading your Huskies, 14. Stars, stripes, platinum, plaid, but after that, they're all pretty much the same. Not ours. At the credit union, we offer very competitive rates on our credit cards. That's a design feature that's easy to appreciate. That's smart shopping. That's member serving member. Dakota Plains Federal Credit Union. Everything we do, we do for you. Federally insured by NCUA. Bright futures start today with an HSA or IRA from Dakota Western Bank. These tax advantage savings help you save for retirement, fund your medical care, and if you're eligible, get significant tax deductions. Ask your tax advisor and talk to Dakota Western Bank about opening your HSA or IRA. As our score right now, fourteen to eight. Huskies take the lead, but miss that very important two point conversion. But another nice catch by Heather, another nice throw by Manolovitz to hook it up for another touchdown, but fail on that two point conversion. Manolovitz will kick it away. They've had two onside kicks. They're going to try another one here. Once again, Nighthawks got to get on top of it, and I think the Huskies got it. The Nighthawks, man, the Hus Nighthawks just watch it. You gotta jump on the football. Second time that's happened, luckily they waited for it to go 10 wow. yards and you knew it was coming. And if you see the replay on it, the Huskies hustle down there, get the easy turnover on the onside kick. So Manolovitz will get the nice onside kick here. Well, they first down and 10 now for the Huskies with 5.47 to go here in the third quarter. A 14-8 Hedinger County Husky lead as Manolovitz will bring him up under center eye formation. Quick snap this time. Miller across the 50 down near the 45-yard line taken down by Yoner. Miller getting his workload now. Game by eight. eight carries in that first quarter, five here in this third quarter. Gain of three on the play. And the Nighthawks yet to have the football. As no carries yet offensively as the Huskies have had the football here for the first seven minutes of this third quarter. Hand off Miller again. Big hole across the 40. Taken down at the 35-yard line. That's going to be another first down, Huskies. Six first downs. Going to give Miller gain of eight. And the Huskies just first seem to be wearing this defense down now as they've been out here for the first seven minutes of this quarter. Winner stays home the first weekend of the playoffs. The non-winner here tonight will end up on the road, possibly to South Border. So we'll go I formation. Hard snap count. We're gonna do a false start on the Huskies. False start on the offense. So another five-yard penalty for the Huskies. First and fifteen for the Huskies. And the Huskies trying to plead their case here as the Nighthawks came across, but the side judge did not call that, neither did the back judge, so we're going to go with the call that stands. With four and a half remaining here in the third quarter, Huskies have controlled this whole third quarter here. As you said, Nighthawks have yet to touch the football here offensively. It's been all Hedinger County here in the third. They lead it here by six, 14 to eight. I formation for Manolovitz. 
Drops back. Oh, he has a man wide open. He's going to come back for it, and he can't get to it. There's going to be a flag. Oh, wow. A, a, probably a pass that was not catchable. As they will throw the flag. Give credit to Matthew Bach. He tried to get to it and played it out a little bit. And we'll get the call. So a pass interference will bring up a seventh first down of the night. And a huge penalty for the Nighthawks. Still unable to see replays, Matthew? Yeah. We can't see replays or we can't? No? I don't want to test it. <clears throat> so after, let's see here, they're going to move the sticks here. They've got the football at the, right around the 26, 25 yard line here, 26 yard line. Four minutes remaining here in the third. Huskies with the football. They've had it for the first eight minutes of the quarter. I formation, man in motion, coming right to left. Hands it off right side, flag in the play. And do another false start on the Huskies. Nine penalties tonight for 50 yards. Both teams heavily penalized here this evening. Clock just under 3.59. And we're an hour and a half, hour 37 into this ball game. As Manolovitz has I formation behind him. Wide to the right is Matt Heather. Watch him. He has the two touchdown catches. Defoe gonna cushion him about 10 yards. Back to pass. Oh, Heather's got to run for his life. He has room to run. Cuts it back across the 30. Weaves his way down to the 20. Taken down at the 20. A long run there, and he gets hit late. Not late, excuse me. He just got hit as he rolled and gets taken down. And Manolovitz is shaken up after about a 10-yard run from Manolovitz. That's going to be his fifth carry of the night. He will get up. And we'll remark it down to the 20 yard line, but a nice run. Hyman all of it. So second down and four coming up here for the Hedinger County Huskies. Here in this third quarter, 14 8, Hedinger County with the lead. Trying to get on the board one more time here. It's been all Hedinger County here in the third. We have not seen the offense from Hedinger Scranton yet. Man in motion, fumble on the play. Miller gonna come up with it. And be a, maybe a loss of a yard, maybe that. In on the quarterback was Matt Heather. They took Manolovitz out. He had to come out because he uh, was shaken up a little bit. He remains on the sidelines on a third down and four. I say that, here comes Manolovitz back into the football game. So a third down and four coming up, four down territory here, right around the 19 yard line, three minutes remaining here in this third quarter. I formation be behind Manolovitz. Couple linebackers looking in, they gotta hurry up here. Handoff right side, Miller. Miller gonna kick it to the outside. He stumbles ahead, he's close to a first down. Very close, we'll see. Boy, he stumbled, had some room to run out there and just stumbled forward. And they're gonna measure and they got another injury on the field. And Coach Zachman uh, gonna come out. And as he gets out, this guy gets up, maybe some cramping going on. That is Rhett Miller, the running back. So Coach Zachman has to pretty much carry him off the field. And they do give him a first down. So Miller must have went down, must have got some cramps, went down, got a first down out of it. Eight first downs now for the Huskies here. At the two and a half minute mark here in the quarter. Third quarter action on this Friday night. Wide out to the left now is Brock Ailis. Shotgun formation is Manolovitz. 
And there's a wide out to the right. Tailback standing right next to him. He's going to keep it himself, follow his, his lead blocker down near the 10 inside the 9-yard line. Looks like a gain of about, give him about four. Tough to see from this angle. Looks like a gain of about, five, uh, gain of five, we'll call it. And five. As Manolovitz has that big run of 35, he also has a 10-yarder. We'll go shotgun formation, second down and five inside the 10-yard line. And another whistle and a timeout on the field for the Huskies. 1.42 to go here in the third, 14-8. Huskies with the lead. We're back in a minute. Heading your region and everywhere. Visit DWB.Bank, member FDIC, that's Dakota Western Bank. Good luck to all the area students and athletes in this school year from Encompass Therapy. Alex, Kathleen, and their staff offer both in-home therapy or in-clinic appointments to meet your physical therapy needs. The Encompass Therapy Clinic is located next door to Family Dollar in Hedinger. Scheduling is flexible to accommodate work, school, and family calendars. Alex and Kathleen Thompson wish everyone a safe and healthy school year. Call 567-8910 or 567-3749 for more information or to make an appointment. It's Encompass Therapy, leading the way to better mobility. 42 to go here in this third quarter. Once again, Nighthawks have yet to touch the football on the offensive side. And the Huskies have had it. They got the touchdown, then they got the onside kick at the six minute mark. So the Huskies now come out, out of the timeout. Second down and about four, just inside the nine yard line. Same formation it looks like, three wide outs to the right, one to the left. Back to pass, rolling out right. Step it up, thrown into the end zone, incomplete. Ball goes sailing out of bounds. Brings up third down for the Huskies. So great ball game going on here tonight. A lot of games going on around the state. Uh, not many updates yet. Cavaliers still leading 50 to zero. That is in the fourth quarter. South Border leading Central McLean in the second, uh, nearing halftime, 22-0. New Salem up on Kidder County in the third quarter, 44-0. We'll get you some 11-B scores here in a minute. Three wideouts now to the left, third down and five. Shotgun, Manolovitz. Oh, we're going to have movement again. Looks like they're marking it back. Yes, another five-yard penalty. False start on the offense. Will another bring false start. Back. Other scores in 11B in the third quarter. Uh, Hart River, Bowman County man. tied at eight. From the 13-yard line. And let's see, we do have Beulah starting the third, 30 to 20. They lead Shiloh Christian. Kilder defeated Southern McLean 28 to 22. So third down and 10, that marks them back near the original line of scrimmage. Three wide outs to the left. Shotgun, Manolovitz, back to pass. Looking, pump fake, throws it into the end zone, nobody there. Another incomplete pass brings up fourth down. Clock will stop at a minute 31. That brings up a fourth and 10 from the Nighthawks 13. So a fourth down and 10 from the 14 yard line. Nighthawk defense stepping up here, trying to get the football back for the Nighthawks for the first time this quarter. So here come the Huskies. Shotgun once again for Manolovitz, three to the left on the wideouts. Man in motion is Heather, flag on the play. Gonna throw into the end zone. Touchdown, but a flag comes out here. Boy, that flag was thrown very quickly. An illegal shift on the Huskies. Wow. Wipes the touchdown off the board. And we also have an injury in the end zone. 
to one of the the uh, Huskies. That is Lane Kovar, who caught the pass and went into the end zone. Coach Zachman wanting, wanting to know why it's an illegal shift. Well, and that's a big one for the Huskies. They're going to replay fourth down. That is another five-yard penalty on the Huskies. So we're down to a minute 24. And with the injury timeout here, the guy in the end zone is up. That was Kovar. Lane Kovar came up right at the cone. So now, fourth down and 15. Shotgun formation for Manolovitz. Wide out to the left is Rhett Miller. They also have Teddy Kirschman. Hasn't had anything thrown his way in a while. There's a snap, back to pass. Good protection, throws it up, has a man in, oh, almost intercepted by Pierce, but he probably did the right thing in dropping it. And that'll be turnover right, on down. Down for our, for our so the third turnover on downs here for the Huskies. The Nighthawks see their first offensive play here with a minute 19 to go. Here in this third quarter. So the Huskies are finally letting the Nighthawks touch the football. So the Nighthawks, first play from scrimmage. We look down and Maddox Pierce, nobody's had a carry at all. Him or Hasbrook, they're both in the backfield. I formation, first down and 10, back from the 20 yard line. Handoff Pierce, he's gonna get rung right at the line of scrimmage. <coughs> and that brings up a gain of about a yard for Maddox. A lot of pushing and shoving in this one, getting a little chippy down the end here. We're down to 56 seconds to go. <clears throat> 11 minute time of possession in that quarter for the Huskies. Second down and nine coming up right at the 20 yard line are the Nighthawks on their own 20 yard line. Pitch gonna go, oh, fumble on the play, loose football, and Pierce comes up with it. So the Pitch went high, Pierce couldn't come down with it. So a loss of about eight on the play. Third and 16 for the Nighthawks. They'll bring up third down in about 16 yards or saying, but it looks like they're gonna run the timeout here. So that's your third quarter. 14-8, Huskies with the lead. We'll be back in the fourth quarter, back in one minute. Friends wise and warm. Strong hands to guide you, city or farm. All across North Dakota, Farmers Union insurance agents are friends you can lean on with one-stop security for yourself and those you love. Safe in the feeling, you're never alone. Call Kim Erickson at 701-567-4358, your local Farmers Union insurance agent of Hedinger. So no one told you t-shirts could be more than plain. Oh my God! We got beans and even plus us clothes for days. Now we got frozen patties that can be seared. You can find us by the place where you can mount, you can mount your team. But we need money from you. Attic. Come on down and visit us at 107 South Main Street in Hedinger. Haley J. Evans Accounting and Tax Services reminds you that they're here for you. Give Haley a call today at 567-2856. Haley J. Evans is here for your payroll and bookkeeping needs, along with tax and financial needs. Stop by our office at 123 South Main Street in Hedinger or call for an appointment today. 567-2856. 
567-2856. Haley J. Evans Accounting and Tax Services, a proud Nighthawk sports sponsor here on KNDC. Don't miss this year's Norse Husfest live concert lineup. Bunch. Big and rich. The, or Graf finding a wide open. Martinez right at the first down marker at the 31-yard line. What a pass. On a 20-yard pass to Martinez. A huge snag by Alex Martinez leads to the Nighthawks. That'll be first the seventh down. first down. That is a huge first down here to start this fourth quarter. The Nighthawks on offense have just been stagnant. Kind of see the sidelines hanging their heads. Uh, Nighthawks need to pick up some momentum here. They're only down six. And you have the football. You haven't touched the ball here in the third quarter, so now it's your turn to chew up some time. Hand off Hasbrook. He's going nowhere at all. Fumble on the play, but Hasbrook will jump on it. Loss of three on the play to Hasbrook. Lost it right at the snap or on the handoff. So that brings up second down and 13. Down to 11-17 to go in the fourth quarter. Nighthawks trailing it to the Huskies, 14 to eight. As we said, it's probably gonna come down to that two-point conversion. Greff will come up with eye formation behind him. Two in the slot. And a couple guys taking off a little bit early, so that'll be another five-yard penalty here for the Nighthawks. And wait a second, White Hat's coming in going, come here, boys. Let's talk this one out. Thinking it's going to be against Nighthawks. They had two guys moving in the backfield. I did not see one of the Huskies come across, but... Oh, wow. As I say that, it's five-yard penalty on the Huskies. So we'll call him Crouchman. So that brings up a second down and nine. Guess I'm wrong on that one. I saw Martinez and Defoe take off. And that was that trap play coming back too. So Huskies are probably lucky they went off sides because that uh, trap usually goes for some big yards. And the first time they ran it, ended up uh, Martinez getting uh, tripped up. Down to 10.44 in the fourth quarter. 14-8 Husky. Shotgun formation for Greff. Three wide outs to the right. Fakes the handoff. Matt, Quick hitter right side to Foe. Makes one man miss at the 30. Up to the 35. Taken out of bound. Nope, still in bounds at the 37-yard line. Right straight from us here. About a five-yard catch for Tanner Defoe. Wing pass to Foe. That brings up third down and three. Big play here. You're looking at probably you don't you don't you're not in four down territory right now. You still got a lot of time on the clock. Tell you what, you have Bowden Hasbrook in the backfield and Maddox. You run either a sweep, or you run something right up the gut with Bowden. Two in the slot on this left side. Graf hard snap count, gonna keep it himself, and he is gonna be shy of the first down by about a yard. Got about two yards on that sneak. So that brings up a third down and about a half, or fourth down, excuse me, and about a half a yard. Huge decision here for the Nighthawks. Huge play coming up. Do you just run the sneak again? You got two yards there. You just have to have the line push, and it's an easy first down here. But then again, if your offensive line gets overmatched by these big guys up front, you're not going to make it. And there he goes. Greff will make it. And gain a two on the play. Another first down for the Nighthawks. And we'll let the PA guy right, tell you. Short game leads to another Nighthawk. First down. Sitting at the 43-yard line, just across the 42 and a half. First down and 10, 9.05 to go here in the ball game. A six point ball game. We have yet to see an overtime this year. Shotgun formation, Graf. Handoff, Pierce, cross the 40. Hit right at the line of scrimmage. Flag comes flying in. That could be face mask or a hold, we'll see. Uh, 
A lot of tempers flaring over on that on both sides. Oh, a hold on the Nighthawks. Hold on the Nighthawks. So that Long brings up another yards. penalty. 10 yards. 85 yards and penalties tonight here for the Nighthawks, unofficially. Puts them back at their own 31 yard line. They haven't had the best starting field position tonight, but they've scored, each team scored with their good field positions. As the clock sitting and rolling now at 8.40 to go. Fourth and final quarter here. A six point ball game. As we said, we haven't seen overtime yet this year. That's always a possibility. If the Night Ox can score and unable to get that two pointer in. Shotgun formation, Greff fakes the handoff, rolls to his right, throws it up for grabs, has a man. Oh, it's going to be intercepted. Intercepted and out of bounds by Manolovitz. And that's a backbreaker for the Night Ox. As Manolovitz, give him credit, boy, he got some air underneath the cleats on that one. And the Huskies in business with a first down and 10 starting on the Nighthawk 30 yard line. Eight fifteen to go in this one. Huskies with the six point lead. Defense has to do a three and out here now, or four and out. I formation now behind Manolovitz. Long snap count. Oh, he's gonna go back to pass. He's gonna look into the end zone, overthrows him. Boy, oh boy. He got the ball at the 30 yard line. Very surprising to throw that shot to the end zone. Incomplete. Brings up second down and 10. Clock will stop at 8.10 to go. And that stops the clock for the Nighthawks because the clock now all of a sudden becomes a, a uh, definitely an enemy to the Nighthawks with 8.10 remaining here in the ball game. Eye formation again for Manolovitz. Manolovitz has a man left, hands it off right side. Miller cuts it back to the 25, breaks free to the outside of the 20, taken down after first down run by Defoe, but a 13-yard run by Rhett Miller will bring up another first down for the Huskies. Just at the 19-yard line. Once again, when you're the two seed, you lose, you're the three seed, and you hit the road in a couple Saturdays. You could get a home game against either Central McLean or Kidder County. Both teams would love that. Manolovitz under center with eye formation behind him. First and 10 from the 19. Handoff to the fullback. Taken down by Rafferty. Gain of about a yard, they're going to say, to Rafferty. So a second down and nine coming up here for the Huskies. Clock will roll, so the Nighthawks can't do nothing about it unless they want to use their timeouts. And they will not use those until we get under the three-minute mark. But right now, as we've said, doesn't matter where you're at record-wise, talent-wise, whenever you get a rivalry, this is always big. I formation behind Manolovitz, hands off, Miller. Miller to the outside gets cut down at the 13 yard line. Gain of about three or four for Miller. Brings up a third down at about four. So third and five. As we're getting close to halfway point of this fourth and final quarter here. Nighthawks cannot afford to give up a touchdown here. And they'll be down two scores. Four down territory here for Manolovitz. High formation behind Manolovitz. Miller in a tailback. Fakes it, rolls it, keeps it himself. Wide open room to the outside to the 10. Trying to get to the first down. I don't think he got it. Big hit on the sidelines. Trying to see who made the hit over there. I think that was Greff. 
But he saved the first down on that hit. Wow. A four-yard run for Manolovitz. But credit Devin Graff hitting him right at the first down marker and saving the first down. Manolovitz didn't want to get too greedy. So now it's a fourth and short here. Nighthawks need to step up here. Fourth down in inches. Got to watch Manolovitz. Of course, you always got to watch that little pitch to the outside here. Everybody's cramming on that inside here. Manolovitz hands it off. First man, Miller, he'll get the first down. Gain of two. And we'll chop more off of the clock as we are now nearing the halfway point of the fourth quarter in a 14-8 lead for Hedinger County. So by no means is this an easy touchdown. You're sitting at the eight yard line. Nighthawks have been playing some great defense here tonight. They need to limit the yards here on these next four carries. You know they're gonna go to the air once or twice here. Now you're getting close to a delay in the back. Nope, Manolovitz gonna keep it himself. Nice trail right side going to the down to the one and out of bounds. Devin Greff hits him at the one yard line but somehow gets to the outside. Another nice run for Manolovitz down to the two yard line. Gain of six. So brings up a second down and goal from the two. Just inside that two point conversion stripe. The Huskies in business once again. I formation now once again behind Manolovitz. They have Rafferty and Miller behind him. Fakes the handoff, sweeps left, keeps it himself, runs up the middle right down to the one yard line. Gain of one and here comes a flag. And I think we're gonna see a personal foul here on the Nighthawks, another penalty, another flag again on the Nighthawks. Unbelievable. You had him third down and goal. You just give up a personal foul, and then you have another personal foul in the end zone. Somebody's saying something. As the clock sitting at 517, <coughs> Coach Lefebvre taking out the one with the personal foul. Very teachable moment right here. And I'm not sure there was another flag that came in afterwards. The officials out there discussing here. But right now the Nighthawks in big trouble. So now that's gonna be an automatic first down from probably about the six inch line. So here comes the white, white hat. And now we're gonna go talk to Coach the Fever and let him know what's going on. As the clock sitting at 517 here, but not the turn of events the Nighthawks wanted here. You're gonna give up the first down on the one yard, two yard line. After the personal foul, there was another one. So two unsportsmanlike conducts on the Nighthawks. And I thought he said it's still third down, but I don't think it should be first down here. <laughs> should be a first down and goal. There's no way you have two unsportsmanlikes and don't get a, a first down out of it. So right now they still have it third down and goal. We'll go I formation. Manolovic's gonna get in for the touchdown. 
So Manolovitz from one yard out will score the touchdown. This coming at the 5.08 mark. On the two yard touchdown Those run. Huskies brings it to 20 to eight. Makes it 20 to eight. And they'll go for the two point conversion here. So with 5.08 remaining, trying to put the two point conversion in is Manolovitz. I formation behind Manolovitz. Sweeping right, throws back left, has Miller wide open for two. 22 to eight. Huskies with the lead. We're back with the kickoff in 30. Daniel O'Donnell. Flint Black with Phil Vassar. The Texas Tenors. Dirk Spentley. Old Pro Medicine Show. Brantley Gilbert. And more. Go to HusFest.com for tickets and more information. The Norse HusFest in Minot, North Dakota. Welcome in to the show. Great savings this week at Kennedy's Fresh Foods of Hedinger. Back in the meat department, they have their fresh, boneless, thick center-cut pork chops, two forty-nine a pound. USDA Choice Angus Beef New York Strip Steak, just nine ninety-nine a pound. Pick up your raspberries, six-ounce packages, two for five dollars, and cherries, three dollars and ninety-nine cents a pound. Get the savings this week and every week. And Kennedy's also wishes everyone a happy back-to-school week at Kennedy's Fresh Foods of Hedinger. Lakeside Auto Body and Glass reminds the you they're quarter. here for you. For all of Score right now. Hedinger County sitting with 22. Nidox at 8. As we're into the fourth quarter, 5.08 remaining in this one. And it all started with the touchdown and then the onside kick. So the Nighthawks have to re realize the ball is live after 10, but uh, if they're within nine, they gotta jump on it or get away from it, but it's getting close each time. Bowman County leading Heart River 24 to eight in their ball game. Some good ball games going on around the area. Here comes a kick, gonna go right up the middle to the 20. Gonna hit it about the 15, picked up by Defoe, across the 20. Need a big return here. Switches directions, going nowhere. Lost in the pile, back to the 21 yard line is Defoe. Starting the third quarter, Beulah leads Shiloh 30 to 20. Bishop Ryan leading Deluxe Burlington at halftime, seven to six. Hazen leading Dickinson Trinity eight to seven. That is at the BAC Bowl. And still haven't got an update on the Grand County game. They were up 32-0 earlier. All right, that'll be first down for the Nighthawks. So Nighthawks will have the first down final. New Salem defeats Kidder County 44 to zero. All right, so Nighthawks have their work cut out for them here with five minutes to go in this one. Shotgun formation is Graf. Wide out to the left, back to pass, Graf. Looking, looking, flag in the play. Gonna come over to Defoe and, oh, what a catch! Oh my! Heck of a catch, but I think it's coming back though, folks. Tam, yeah, get, that's the play of the year, if we could, no replay? No replay. I'm looking at Matt and going, come on, man. Where's my replay? Consolidated Live have the replay? That's going to come back, though, because of a hold in the backfield. And now another flag being thrown on the Nighthawk sideline. Did you? All right. So now we have a holding penalty. And now we're going to have another unsportsmanlike conduct on the sidelines. And we're down to 451 to go here in this one. And now the Huskies, what are we doing here? So 
So the unsportsmanlike will go half the distance. First one goes from 10 yards from the spots. You're looking at about the nine yard line. Then it's half the distance to about the fourth or fifth. Now we're looking at country mile now. And it is a first down in a country mile. You need to get to the 31 yard line for a first down here. I formation for the Nighthawks with 4.48 to go, trailing it 22 to eight. Handoff, Pierce going nowhere. Maybe a gain of two on the play. Brings up second down. So the clock will continue to roll here and the Huskies are looking like they're gonna be the two seed in this region. Nighthawks, Hawks, the defending region champs, will go in as the three seed if things hold the way they are. And will have to be on the road in a couple Saturdays. We will play Napoleon next Friday at home to get ready for the playoffs. We did not see Tristan Picas tonight, which is probably good. We'll go I formation. It's gonna go left side, Hasbrook. He's gonna be taken down at about the nine. Oh, another flag coming in here. And now we got some Huskies on the ground over here. Not sure what's going on here. We'll see what the call is going to be. And it's going to go against the Nighthawks, it looks like. Could be a block in the back. They're gonna mark it off from the spot. Block in the back, gonna be half the distance. Make sure all the legs are all the way out and that they're all the same length. Just, they're not, just pull on the bottom ones. Sure the legs can, just 14, just now 15 penalties on the night for the Nighthawks. Once again, in triple digit, digits in yards. On the legs, you pull those and then extend. So we'll go back to a second down and it's still the country mile. Need to get to that 31. You're sitting back at the five yard line. We'll go I formation behind Graf. And now we're going to get a delay. So now your delay of game's coming up here as nobody's watching the back official. So that'll be another five yarder, move it back half the distance. Clock sitting at 316. We'll mark him back to the two yard line. Another new play call coming in here. So the clock rolling here, three minutes to go in this one. Skin the Hedinger Huskies. Looking like they're walking out of here with a win. Handoff, Hasbrook gets to the five, up the sideline to the 10. He'll run up, pushed out of bounds at about the 13 yard line. So a gain of about 12 for Hasbrook. We'll get a little bit back for this next play. So third down coming up, a third down and 15. So we've erased the country mile anyways. Clock now at 2.45 to go and the Huskies feeling it. They're gonna be the two seed in a couple weeks and we'll have a home game in Mott against either Kidder County or Southern McLean. Nidox will have to go on the road to South Border, very winnable ball game. And now flag on the play again. that on did not see the call on that one but another five yarder so the penalty yards adding up here back to the 10 yard line clock at 247 Go shotgun for Greff. Back to pass. 
Ref stepping up in the pocket. He's Oh, he gets hit hard right at the goal line. And Markham at the one, a loss of nine on the play. And with 2.36 to go, that brings up fourth down. Punting situation here for the Nighthawks. As just the protection broke down. And a timeout on the field. 2.25 to go here in the fourth. Huskies of Hedinger County lead it. 22 to 8. For windshield chip we'll and full three. windshield replacement. Give Mark a call today at 567-4380. That's 567-4380 for Lakeside Auto Body and Glass. Located at 103 Highway 8 South in Hedinger. Call 567-4380. It's Lakeside Auto Body and Glass of Hedinger. La for Vermeer operates on the premise that parts and service support doesn't help tomorrow when you're in the field today. With Vermeer Equipment, you're getting more than a machine. You're investing in quality parts, local service, and support from your local dealer. That's the part that matters. La for Vermeer provides quality parts and service. They're passionate about agriculture. 225 remaining in this one on KNDC Hedinger. Consolidated Channel 18. We're live along with Channel 91 with the audio. And along with the HPS stream team, make sure you subscribe and like on your YouTube channel this evening. So the Night Ox trailing it here 22 to eight after the timeout. Night Ox will have a punting situation here. Martinez, high punt. Gonna hit at the 30, roll out of bounds at the 34 yard line. All right, that'll be a first and 10 for the Huskies. So first down and 10 coming up for the Huskies. They can take, uh, get a first down here and run things out here this evening. As they will mark it at the 36 yard line of the Nighthawks. Gut check time for the Nighthawks here this week. They got Napoleon coming in on Friday. And this film will be watched or deleted, one of the two, in the uh, Husky coaching room or the Nighthawk coaching room. But this is definitely going to be a learning experience here tonight. Get you ready for the playoffs. Manolovitz under center, going to roll out to the left. Going to roll to the 40. He's just going to dive forward and another flag on the play. Going to have to have some officials icing their arms tonight. They've had a lot of uh, penalties here tonight. Let's see who this one's on. Could be a hold on the Huskies. Could be a hold on the Huskies. Holding on the Huskies and march back five yards. 75 yeah, yards in penalties for the Huskies. on 13 penalties. The Nighthawks have 17 penalties for 145 yards. So a lot of penalty yards tonight. Clock at two minutes now, 22 to eight Huskies. Manolovic just waiting for the back official to give the sign of 10 seconds. Hopefully he's not dozing off, there you go. So Manolovic. Waiting for his hand to go five. There he goes. Hands it off. Miller kicks it to the outside of the midfield, and it comes across to the 48, gain of about two. So a second down and a bunch for the Huskies after that big penalty. Second down and about 21. They're sitting at the 48-yard line of the Nighthawks. Clock at a minute nine. It looks like they may take a timeout here. Either that or take the penalty, one of the two. But I think they're going to take a timeout. We're down to 10 seconds. Down to five. He will get up and will take a knee and bring up a third down. And he might have to snap it one more time here. So 
So we'll see here. With 38 seconds to go, clock ticking down. And there's your final knee. So the Night Hawks are going to fall tonight, 22 to 8. To the Hedinger County Huskies. And that's going to wrap up this ball game. So your Huskies are your number two seed in the region. The Night Hawks will be your three seed and will be on the road in two weeks. So stick close to KDC 1490 AM 106.7 FM. We're going to take a minute timeout. We're going to come back, hand out our top performer, and we'll do that on KDC Hedinger, Consolidated Channel 91 and 18, and HPS Stream Team will take a quick 60 and be back. Making high quality hay for the nation's farmers and ranchers, and they understand you need quality parts to do so. Call Laffer Vermeer today in Hedinger, 567 4368. That's Laffer Vermeer, 567 4368. Lodge Pole Store says good luck to the Hedinger Scranton Nighthawks during this year's sports season. Lodge Pole Store is here for all of your appliance needs. Give them a call at 605 564 2173. They have a variety of Crosley appliances on hand. You can also order in other name brand appliances. From washers, dryers, to cook stoves, give them a call. Call Dick or Mary at 605 564 2173. Good luck, Nighthawks, from Lodgepole Store. You want to feel important. You want to be a part of something bigger, something that matters and can help change things. You want to feel like you belong. We know. We felt that way, too. And that's why we did something about it. We aren't just Army National Guard soldiers. We are normal people just like you. And together, we can make a difference. Take on your legacy. Visit NationalGuard.com to find out more. Sponsored by the North Dakota Army National Guard. Aired by the North Dakota Broadcasters Association at this station. Stop in the Next Door Pizza in Scranton. Follow them on Facebook under Next Door Pizza, the real NDP. You can see their menu. Also give them a call at 275-9200 or go online at nextdoorpizza.com. They have daily specials Monday through Sunday. It's at Next Door Pizza saying good luck to the Nighthawks during this year's sports season from Next Door Pizza in Scranton. Call 275-9200. Pastime Bar and Steakhouse on Main Street in Hedinger. Steakhouse is open Monday through Thursday, 5 to 9 p.m. And Friday and Saturday, 5 to 10 p.m. Happy Hour in the Bar is Monday through Saturday, 4 to 6 p.m. For reservations, call 567. And we're going to run down the scoring and the total yards and all that good stuff. So here we go. Scoring tonight. Uh, started in the second quarter, Matt Heather, a 26-yard touchdown catch from Manolovitz, and then Heather from Manolovitz for the two, making it 8-0. Hasbrook then runs a 19-yard touchdown run. Graf to Defoe, making it a two-yard pass, two-point pass, making it 8-8. Third quarter came around. It was pretty much 11 minutes of Husky football. Heather, a 16-yard touchdown from Manolovitz. Pass failed, making it 14-8. And then Manolovitz, a two-yard touchdown run. Two-point conversion was good, making it 22-8. to eight. As far as the total yards go, Nighthawks had 116 rushing yards at the half. They ended up with 109 at the end of the game. So they lost yardage in the second half. 48 passing yards in the second half. They ended up with 157 total yards. The big stat, though, 17 penalties. Unofficially, 145 yards of penalties tonight. For the Huskies, 156 yards on the ground, 49 through the pass, total of 205. They didn't have as many yards, but they had 13 penalties for 75 yards on the evening. They did have three turnovers on downs. Nidox had three interceptions for turnovers. So that is your final stats for this evening. Going to hand out our top performer, Brought to you by KDC, along with Consolidated, Egg Pro Machinery, along with Slope Electric, Dakota Western Bank, Lightning Creek Services, Anderson Grain Cleaning, Scranton Equity, Kennedy's Fresh Foods, and Haley J. Evans. Going to hand out the T-shirt uh, tonight to number four on Hedinger County. Uh, that's going to be Manolovitz. Uh, ended up with two touchdown passes. Ended up with 56 yards on the ground. 
Had a big interception here in the uh, third quarter, and he'll take home tonight's top performer, along with an Encompass Therapy sports towel as well. So that puts the Nighthawks on the road in the playoffs. We'll be at home next week against Napoleon. That'll be a 6 o'clock start next Friday. We'll hit the road for the playoffs the next Saturday afternoon. And I uh, believe it's going to be south border, but of course nothing's official until regular season is officially over with. Uh, congratulations to the Huskies. They are now the two seed. They will have a home game either against Kidder County or Central McLean. That's going to wrap up our coverage tonight. want to thank everybody on Consolidated Channel 18 live along with Consolidated Channel 91. Also, we want to thank uh, the HPS stream team. Make sure before you get off here tonight, subscribe and like it, and uh, all that good stuff that you do on YouTube and all that other uh, uh, stuff that goes on on YouTube and on the Internet. I don't know. That, that's what I'm told. Like and subscribe. All right, that's your final score. The Huskies win it here tonight, 22-8. to eight. Tune in tomorrow morning. We'll have our scoreboard show at 9.05. We'll try to round up some coaches. We had both these guys on this last Saturday. To try to wrap up some coaches tomorrow morning at 9.05. So stick close to KNDC here on this Friday evening.